When several evil men attacked a young girl deep in a secluded forest, they thought that they would be able to get away with their heinous crime. But what they could expect was who would come to their rescue. The identity of the girl's saviors will shock you to your core. This story takes place in the beautiful city of Cadenza in Italy. Antonello is a beautiful girl who had recently turned 20. She was strong and independent and lived with her elderly grandma. She had sadly lost her parents in a car accident at a very young age, so her grandma was kind enough to take her in and raise her as best she could. Luckily, her grandma had previously had three daughters, so she was used to raising girls. While other children may have been affected by the trauma of losing their parents, Antonella adjusted fairly well. She was always a quiet, polite, and conscientious child, and was steadily growing up to become a friendly and beautiful young woman with a good heart. The area where Antonella lived was pretty quiet, but all the people there were friendly, and it was a really close-knit community. The city was surrounded by lush forests, giving the whole place a natural look. However, as beautiful as the forest was, the residents of Cadenza tried to keep away as there were wild, vicious, and dangerous animals that lived in there. There were stories of people wandering into the forest and never returning, and all the children of the city, including Antonella, were instructed never to venture into the wild place. It was not safe, but something drew Antonella to the forest. She loved to sit and watch the wildlife in there, and her uncle had even constructed her a tree house at the edge of the city, in which she had a fantastic view peep into the trees. Her grandma would constantly warn her about the dangers of the forest, and she was always worried that her grandchild would wander too far into the trees one day. But Antonella was sensible and knew better than to disobey her grandma. One day on her way back from school, Antonella decided to walk down a path that skirted the very edge of the city, where it met the forest. It was a quiet and rarely used path, but Antonella enjoyed the quiet and liked to watch the squirrels skip and play in the trees. But all of a sudden, a loud and blunt curdling howl came from not too far into the forest. She instinctively knew it was that of a wolf and ran as fast as she could toward the safety of her home, but something stopped her, some kind of curiosity or interest. The howl didn't sound that scary, and Antonella started to worry that an animal might be in pain or danger. Perhaps, if she went into the forest, not too far, she would be able to uncover the mystery and maybe help the animal. She started to take tentative steps into the trees, and after only a few moments, she got a glimpse of an animal lying on the floor in a clearing some way ahead. As Antonella got closer, she realized it was a wolf, and her blood ran cold. She knew wolves to be dangerous and vicious, and they could have easily killed her if she wanted to, but something caught her eye that stopped her from returning. Two wolf pups. They were gathered around their mother, who had clearly been in some kind of fight, she had wounds on her body, clearly from fighting another larger animal. She had been protecting her children, and it looked as if the wolf mother was going to die. Slowly, the mother stopped breathing until the cubs were left alone and scared. Antonella slowly approached, and much to her relief, the cubs didn't seem scared. Perhaps they knew she meant them no harm. Reaching into her bag, she pulled out a small amount of food and threw it for the cubs to eat. They dogged after the food, happily eating with a kind stranger had provided. As the babies ate, Antonella went and laid her hand on the dead wolf's head and made a silent vow to protect her cubs, promising to bring them food as often as she could. But Antonella could not take the puppies home with her. Not only would they be away from their natural habitat, but Antonella's grandma would know that she had disobeyed her orders. Still, she was worried that without their mother's help, the cubs would surely die. So Antonella came up with a plan. She would take them back to her treehouse and keep them there. They would be safe there, and she could easily look after them. Antonella even gave them names, Romulus and Remus. So she took the cubs back to the treehouse and played with them all evening. They were happy and energetic and seemed to love her company. She would then go home and bring them food. Antonella did this every day watching the wolf cubs get slowly stronger and more significant. This went on for months, and Antonella considered the beautiful animals to be her friends. Despite what she had always been led to believe, the wolves were friendly and pleasant. They enjoyed the company of Antonella, and they even started to act more like dogs than wolves. Their tails would wag when they saw her coming, and they would yap and roll around on the floor after she fed them their favorite meals. It really was a partnership made in heaven. 
One day, when she was walking to the treehouse, Antonella suddenly became aware that some men were following her. As she started walking faster, the men started to run until Antonella was sprinting away from them. Clearly, these men had bad intentions. Just before she reached her treat house, though, the men caught up with Antonella. They threatened her with a knife and dragged her into the forest where they could enact their evil and insidious plan. The men led her deep into the trees where they threw her on the ground. The young woman was on her knees before them and scared to death. Antonella couldn't help but think the worst was going to happen, and tears filled her eyes as she wondered what would become of her and if she would ever see her grandma and her home again. But before the men could do anything, a distant howl rang through the forest. It stopped the men in their tracks, and they looked at each other, suddenly weary and panicked. Antonella suddenly felt a boost of confidence and a little spark of hope. She knew those howls. She knew what that noise meant. The men waited several moments, wondering if the noise would happen again, but there was no sound. They turned their attention back to the girl on the ground and started to approach her with evil looks in their eyes. But all of a sudden came a loud wrestling, and out of the foliage pounced two wolves, Romulus and Remus. They positioned themselves between Antonella and her attackers and bore their teeth, violently growling at them and swiping their paws at the men. The two wolves had seen Antonella being snatched from the window of the treehouse. They had broken out of their home and tracked their master and her captors into the forest and leaped into action to defend the one who had looked after them since they were pups. Antonella had never felt safer than she did right then. The attackers, on the other hand, were clearly terrified. They all fled in different directions, with the wolves playfully chasing after them, snapping at their heels and snarling at them as they ran. The men would not only never think of trying to commit such a horrible act again in their lives, but they would never come close to approaching the forest again, fearing being attacked by these vicious wolves once more. The wolves then returned to Antonella, who was shaken, upset, but otherwise okay. They nuzzled her and sat against her and in her lap until she was strong enough to pick herself up and walk back out of the forest and home. All the while, the two wolves remained at her side, guarding her, protecting her, and looking out for her just like Antonella had done for them.